What's good, everybody? This is your Lethal Spark John Peterson here, and welcome back to History of Yu-Gi-Oh! Today we will be tackling Structure Deck Kaiba Evolution, released on March 1st, 2004. Much like before, let's get right into it. Blue Eyes White Dragon. This legendary dragon is a powerful engine of destruction. Virtually invincible, very few have faced this awesome creature and lived to tell the tale. Battle Axe, a monster with tremendous power. It destroys enemies with a swing of its axe. Hmm. Komori Dragon, a vicious fire breathing dragon whose his wicked flame corrupts the soul of its enemies. Rogue Doll, a deadly doll gifted with mystical power. It is particularly powerful when attacking against dark forces. Koji Koki, a manhunter with powerful arms that can crush boulders. Irabi. Fast on its feet, this dinosaur rips enemies to shreds with its sharp claws. Mystic Horseman, half man and half horse, this monster is known for its extreme speed. Ryukishin powered. A gargoyle enhanced by the powers of darkness. Very sharp talons make it a worthy opponent. La Jin, the mystical genie of a lamp. A genie of the lamp that is at the beck and call of its master. Skull Redbird. This monster swoops down and attacks with a rain of knives stored in its wings. Hyozan Ryu. A light attribute level 7 dragon type monster with 2100 attack and 2800 defense. A dragon created from a massive diamond that sparkles with blinding light. Octoclops, a dark attribute level 4 fiend type monster with 1800 attack and 1700 defense. A one eyed giant that serves the dark ruler, Hades. More on him later. It skewers its enemies with a sharp horn, shattering them to pieces. The dragon dwelling in the cave. A wind attribute level 4 dragon type monster with 1300 attack and 12 and 2000 defense. <laughs> a huge dragon dwelling in the cave. It's horrible when it gets angry, although it's usually pretty quiet. It is said to preserve certain treasures. Luster Dragon number 2. A wind attribute level 6 dragon type monster with 2400 attack and 1400 defense. This dragon feeds on emeralds. Enchanted by its monster, even when attacked, very few live to tell of its beauty. Okay. Yeah. Kaiser Seahorse. A light attribute, low 4 sea serpent type monster with 1700 attack and 1650 defense. This card can be treated as two tributes for the tribute summon of a light monster, like uh, the earlier mentioned Hyozan Ru or Blue Eyes White Dragon. <clears throat> Lord of D. Neither player can target dragon monsters on the field with card effects. Mysterious Puppeteer. A. When you, each time your opponent normal or flips the monster, increase your life points by 500. Trap Master. Select one trap on the field and destroy it. And if it's set, pick it up and see it. And if it's a trap, it goes boom, spell, it doesn't. Hane Hane. Select one monster in the field and return it to the hand. Which of the Black Forest? If this card is sent to the graveyard, add a monster with 1,500 or less defense, which thankfully the, this deck has plenty of. Mystic Tomato, a dark level 4 plant type monster with 1,400 attack and 1,100 defense. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a dark monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck. Mad Sword Beast. An earth attribute level 4 darkness. Actually, I already covered this guy. I think. Let me check.
No, I don't think I did. So it's an Earth Attribute Level 4 Dinosaur Type Monster with 1400 Attack and 1200 Defense. This card attacks a Defense Position Monster, inflicts Piercing Battle Damage. Spirit Ryu, a Wind Attribute Level 4 Dragon Type Monster with 1000 Attack and Defense. During your battle step, if this card battles, you can discard a Dragon from your graveyard. This card gains 1000 Attack and Defense until the end of the battle phase. Then we got the Ritual Monster, Paladin of White Dragon. A light attribute, level 4, dragon type monster with 1900 attack and 1200 defense. This card can only be ritual summoned through White Dragon Ritual. And if it attacks a defense position monster that's face down, it gets deep 6 immediately. You can also tribute this card onto special blue eyes white dragon from your hand or deck, but it can't attack. Ozaki, inflict like 800 damage. Fissure, destroy one monster with the lowest attack. Dispel, target one face up speller and destroy it. Monster Reborn, revive a monster. Be an experienced spy. See a card in your opponent's hand. Flute of Summoning Dragon, special, special up to two dragon monsters, which. Five. Change of heart. Switch control. And still banned. Because of that. Soul exchange. Target one monster your opponent controls and tribute it, but you can't battle on that turn. Mountain. All dragon, winged beast, and thunder monsters gain 200 attack and defense. Tribute to the doom. Discard a card and destroy a monster on the field. Rush recklessly. Monster targeted by this gains 700 attack until the end of the round. Megamorph. While. What's in you? Dulls his attack. It was the attack of the monster equipped by it. But if it's higher, it gets cut in half. Mobile Men of Crossout. Target one face down monster and destroys it. As well as banish all of them cards with the same name. Pretty much your burial. Activate this by paying 800, special summon one monster in attack position and equip it. And it's banned. Imagine my shock. Fairy Meteor Crush. If the equipped monster attacks a defense position monster and inflicts piercing damage. Shadow Spell. The monster targeted by this card can't attack. Uncle change battle position. And it loses 700 attack. Hecking degrading. Trapple, monster against against normal and flips them and it has a thousand more attack. It, go, it gets minecrafted. Next we got just as Earths, inflicts 500 damage for each monster on the field. And the opponent. Gift of the Mystic Elf, gains 300 life points for every monster on the field. Dust Tornado. Target one spell or trap your opponent controls. Destroy that target. And you can set one spell or trap from your hand. Light of Intervention. While this card is faced up, all monsters on this field can be summoned in face up defense position. Draw our greed, draw a card, the Yoroku field. When a spell card is activated, the target's one monster and it gets negated and destroyed. And holy crap, is the guy in that artwork trying to go Super Saiyan? Well, to be fair, uh, both Dragon Ball and Yu-Gi-Oh! were published by Shonen Jump, so I might not be that far from the mark. Next, we got Burst Breath, tribute to Dragon, and destroy all monsters on the field whose defense is less than and or equal to the attack of the tributed monster and D-Tribe. All monsters on field on my side on, on the player's field become dragons until the end of the round. That about sells it. Started at Kaiba Evolution was released on... March 1st, 2004. If you like what you saw, hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe with the notifications turned on. This has been your little Spurg John Peterson telling you all to take it easy. Have a good one, and I'll see you later for the return of Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Peace out.